Come Flying Today with Kelvin and Charles. Kelvin's going to uncover his plane. While he gets it ready, we'll have a look round at some of the other planes that are in the shed. They are very small planes as you can see, but they all fly very much like a real aircraft, the sort that you might have been in when you've been on holiday. Hope you enjoy the flights. Now that the plane is out of the hangar, we prepare it for flying. Kelvin is removing the bits that protect it from being knocked when we're pulling it around. And then he pulls out the red tagged parts which stop insects getting into small holes. The clicking noise is the fuel pump and the whistle is the stall indicator. I'm talking. Yes, you're just checking all the bits and pieces like the airline pilot does. See all the wings are spit on. And... Next, we try to move the propeller. What are you doing that for? Just to break the oil off of the components to make the engine start easier. You get oil suction on the one thing to the other. Plus, you can hear where the mags are going. And what are the mags? The mags are things that make this thing spark to make your Puff bang wallop. <laughs> and puff bang wallop is the engine, I take it. Yes. Oil. There we have enough oil. Just like on a car, you've got a dipstick. Got a dipstick. That's okay. Now we check all round the outside of the plane. Just join on. Everything moves freely. It looks symmetrical. It's not a bit like that. Finally, Kelvin climbs into the plane, the plane and Kelvin. checks How the controls. How do you steer it and make it go up and down? Uh, well, up and down, you go, that goes down with the joystick, and that comes back up. Okay, so and do that. Operates the do, elevator. Do that again while I'm watching the aileron. If I want to turn right, I put that to the right, and the aileron goes up. And you want to go to the left, and the other aileron goes up. And the rudder moves as well when we're turning. That's one side and that's the other side. Now for going up and down, the tailplane goes up and down. That's down. And that's up. And that's up. And the joystick goes backwards and forwards for doing that. Can you do that? There we are. So that's how you fly a plane and we'll show you the instruments once we get moving. After connecting the sat-nav, we do the oh, checklist my inside the my cockpit. Checklist. Oh, yeah.
You can say what you're doing if you like. I'm priming the engine with petrol. I'm going to leave it for a moment. Now it's going to all suck through, so we'll put the information in our little logbook. Again. Okay, we're going to try and start it. Hopefully it'll go first time. And pull this down. Now we start the engine. Now we've got to where the fuel is kept in a large tanker to put fuel in the plane. So we've got a petrol pump inside the cupboard on the side of the tank. We have to write down the reading before we fill up and the reading after we fill up. We have to connect an earth wire in case of any sparks that might occur from static electricity between the plane and the tanker. There is a fire extinguisher as well. We have to fill up the tank in the wing and we do each side to make the plane balance. It's quite light really. Now we're going to look at the instruments that help us fly the plane safely. Okay. The first one we're going to look at is our air speed indicator. When we're flying at a normal speed it's around about 160 miles an hour. When we come to land it has to be indicating between the two white marks and that means we're travelling at about 60 miles an hour when we land. This meter that we're looking at now is our altimeter and that shows us how high we are. We usually fly between one and two thousand feet. Down here we have our compass and that helps us fly in the direction we want to go. And this is our climb meter which indicates how fast we're climbing or how fast we're descending. Now turning is shown on this meter. The angle of the wings is shown as we bank on a turn. The attitude meter shows the sky is blue, the earth is brown. If the sky goes downwards and the brown goes upwards then we're upside down and we've got a problem. Over here we've got our fuel gauges and the fuel gauges are one for each tank on each side and then down below we have our radios for communicating with the control tower. And now the little square or oblong boxes are our sat navs or GPS's and they show that we're on the runway at Hardwick. Now we're going down the runway and we're about to take off. There we go, flying away from Hardwick and giving a wave of the wind. see a picture looking towards Norwich. The cathedral is roughly in the middle of the picture there. And now we're over Cooper's Lane looking at Theobald Road and Colburn Road. And now we're over the top of McDonald's on Hall Road, Barrett Road roundabout. And we're coming towards the Scout Headquarters now. And the next picture shows the Scout Headquarters right in the middle with the new zinc roof. And you can see Lake and Mills and the river nearby just there. Now as we fly away from Norwich we come to a place called Raveningham Hall with a lovely lake and now we're at Cantley 
looking at the sugar beet factory where the sugar that you have in your tea comes from. Now we're flying back to the airfield and we're about to land. We're coming in, like we said, at about 60 miles an hour. We've had a lovely flight and we're touching down. We hope you've enjoyed finding out how planes fly. See you soon. Bye.